Hey guys, Andy here. So I do like my Bolt version too. It's a little bit small. I sometimes find it a bit hard to read the numbers when they're a bit small, but I do like it. It's really, I mean, it's so useful um, if you're a semi-serious cyclist. Um, but I find it quite odd that it's not that easy to add a point of interest. Um, you can't even, well, I don't think you can even kind of scroll around the map and say, right, add this and save this place for me. You have to actually go to that place and then save your location. Um, but there is a way that you can kind of hack your way around that, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so here is the device, and just in case you hadn't seen, um, not there, there, choose a route, and you can come down to take me to, and I have a bunch of places saved. Um, now, before we start, I don't know if it will let me because I've not got a GPS. No, that's fine. If you can, you're better off to go outside, stand outside, let it get a GPS location and save as many points of interest as you're gonna want. It's not essential, and it doesn't matter if you save it five times and then you think of a sixth place that you wanna set, because I'll show you how we can deal with that as well. So we need to make it so that the device is um, can be authorized by ADB. So we have to press the power, the volume down, and vo not volume, sorry, the up and down. So we have to press the power up and down. In fact, let me just come out of that. Right, so I pressed them all once. In theory, we should get the ADB access. When I plug this in, so it's saying unauthorized. Let's try unplugging again. Right. So you see now it just says device, whereas before it said unauthorized. Um, the next step is to pull the database. Now, I have been playing with this, so I do have it saved here. The text will be in the video description, as long as I remember. Um, so I press that. Now, in my ADB folder. Now, if you haven't used ADB, ADB before, I'm not gonna go through an explanation of how you install that and how you use it. Find a different guide to find out about ADB. Um, if you're a bit of an Android nerd, you may already be using it. So that is the database. Um, now you need to install SQLite Browser. So it's sqlitebrowser.org. Install that, that will then let you edit the database. Bring it there onto the correct screen. And we want Cloud POI, we're gonna browse it. And here are all of my uh, points of interest. So I wanna add one, so I'm just gonna, on the number there, select duplicate the record. Um, this is actually gonna be a bit of a weird one, it's gonna be Burke War Mem. And I'm gonna go over to that one here, Burke War Mem. Because that's basically a sort of common starting point for rides that I and some friends do. So I think, and I've kind of worked this bit out myself, but I think basically to make sure that the hash is slightly different, um, we'll come back to the actual location. Again, we'll make sure that this is slightly different. And I think this is just the time that the that it was created. I don't think it really matters, but I just make it slightly different to above. Right, so now let's come back to the position. So I've got Google Maps open behind. Now I need to find, there it is in fact. So that is a place, it's got a nice little car park. Well, it's not that nice, it's a bit gravelly, but right, then we need, uh, so 51.773203 by minus 0 0.545018. And then while I'm in here, I'm actually going to do another one. So I'll duplicate, and this one's going to be Musette. Musette. Again, let's come back and just change that. So it's unique. 
change that so it's unique and just in case change that so it's unique right now let's come back to the all right so now i need to search musette there it is right so i've edited in the latitude and longitude i'm gonna exit it's gonna ask do i want to save i'm gonna say yes we're gonna go back to adb and we're gonna push push there we go so that's pushed it back to the device we're then gonna adb reboot and we should see it's going to reboot the device i can then unplug the cable and we wait for it to reboot so now we're back we're going to go over to the root choose a root take me to you see musette and burke war memorial if I had a GPS signal, I can now select those as my location or destinations, and it will plot me a route. Um, I think it's just really quite handy. I've got a lot of sort of favorite coffee cake stops or ride start locations, or more importantly, going back to my car afterwards. Um, and it's just handy to be able to bring those up from time to time. Um, it may even be, you know, you're out on one ride and you think, oh, do you know, I'm probably not that far from Musette. Let's, let's swing by and have a coffee. And you can just change your route. You can have it to plan you. Um, you can then go back onto your old route if you want it, it'll route you back on to the Bolt version too. So there you go. Hopefully that's not been too complicated. Let me know if you have any questions. Although, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've generally just been following other people's guys that have kind of taken little bits of information from here and there and patched it together myself. But uh, I might be able to help. Anyway, thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already. Give it a thumbs up, all that malarkey. Um, but for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.